Hey, what's up everybody? It's Kanisha. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Happy holidays. If you're not new, welcome back. Happy holidays. I wanted to talk a little bit about Louis Vuitton's Kasuma collab collection coming out for 2023. I think if you're not a fan of art, if you don't really get the abstract, then this kind of stuff, this kind of collaboration is the kind of that stuff can that can be a little bit difficult to understand. Like why does Louis Vuitton make these kind of collections? This is the best free exhibit in London this summer. You're given a sheet of stickers designed by Yayoi Kusama to be placed around a white room to obliterate it with color. This is Yayoi Kusama's obliteration room at the Tate Modern, the largest of these installation rooms she's ever created. The room is made to look like an apartment. Our stickers are literally everywhere, even under the table, on the picture frames, and on the beauty vanity. You can now even find my own little creation above the kitchen. The four rooms in total started off completely blank before getting covered in color. On until August 29th, if you like seeing the best of London's art, follow for more Girl in Gallery. I thought I'd share some of my favorite pieces from the upcoming collection. Just give you all my impressions on what I think that's coming out. Is it a weird thing to see so many collaborations? Do we think it's a good thing or a bad thing to see so many collaborations? The thing about Louis Vuitton is they do a lot of collaborations and they've been doing them. They've been doing them a while. I don't typically buy Louis Vuitton collaboration pieces because I feel like they're a little bit too trendy. However, while they may be trendy for the moment, what they typically end up being are classics in the long run. Maybe not so much Supreme. I think Supreme can feel like it can be a little bit timeless i feel like supreme is a little bit too trendy which okay it's okay if you want a trendy piece um but i feel like more of the timeless louis vuitton collabs that people really latched on to that stuck in their hearts was the stephen sprouse collection and even the that's the graffiti collection and the takashi murakami collection the multicolor collection I wish I had gotten a piece of that collection. So I don't know if this is another collection that will stick in people's minds like that. There were a couple hot pieces that I really liked that I wanted to bring to your attention. In case you like Kasuma, in case you like her art, maybe you'll appreciate this collab collection. <laughs> that they pop up for me. So the first piece is the Zippy Wallet. And the reason why I'm not a fan of this piece is because it reminds me a little bit of a bumblebee. And I'm allergic to bees, so I was stung as a little girl. So that's the reason why my trauma is attached to the color palette. But it doesn't have to be for you. It doesn't have to be for you. Maybe these are your favorite colors. The Zippy Wallet is a fabulous wallet. <laughs> and if you like this piece, you should go for it. <laughs> Don't let my trauma stand in your way. <laughs> All right, the next piece is a set of trunks. And the reason why I took this picture is because I love Louis Vuitton trunks. Louis Vuitton is best known for their trunks. If you can get a piece that combines your favorite piece by Kusama along with the Louis Vuitton trunk, then here it is. This is perfect. So moving on to the next piece. This piece I actually really like. It's Spell on You. Now, here's what it looks like to me, but I'm gonna tell you why this is okay. It looks like a virus, doesn't it? It looks like the Spell On You perfume bottle is a virus, but we want to put a spell on them, don't we? Yes, we do. We're gonna put a spell on them. <laughs> We're gonna entrance them. <laughs> so I actually told my husband, hey, you know, if you wanna get me this one, I wouldn't mind this as a gift. Valentine's Day, Christmas, birthday, it doesn't matter. I told him I like this one. I like the case because it's the opposite effect. I feel like the case does not look like a virus. I feel like the case is like the antidote. <laughs> Cause you know, with the white cells in our body, it's the immune defenses coming to our rescue that's protecting us from the virus. And you're like, can you should just go back to the bags? Okay, let's go back to the bags, okay. So the next piece is a pair of sunglasses. And the reason why I like this is because I love sunglasses. I had LASIK surgery 20 years ago when I first started working. It was the first gift I ever bought myself with my first paycheck. That's a luxury I have no regrets about. I love these sunglasses. And anytime I see sunglasses, there's always a little bit of interest for me there. The other thing that these sunglasses remind me of is Minnie Mouse, don't they? I'm a fan of Minnie Mouse. I think these are cute. I think these are really cute. Next bag that is 
popping up is the Alma. Now, I really like this version of the collaboration. What's that little tag on the bag? Is it like a little pump, like a little upside down flower? What is that? Do y'all know? I like this. I, I'm surprised that I like this because of the dots. That's the one thing that's taking me back. When you zoom out, when you look at this bag from a zoomed out perspective, what entrances me about it is it looks like snow. And the other thing too is it's a red bag. I have been like after and considering a red bag, even though I'm not really sure if I really should go for it because I've seen the feedback. You want it, but you're not really sure when to use it. So I might also need some suggestions on having a red bag. This Alma BB was so cute. A little bit mini Mouse-ish, sure, but still cute. Same thing for the Speedy. I really like the Speedy. Again, it gives me the snowflake effect. Like snow, do you see my snowflake? This is my snowflake. Real time blooper right there. That's my snowflake from my kids. They, they've um, cut up some snowflakes for me. I said, cut them up for me kids and I'll put them on my window. So you're gonna, probably gonna start to see more snowflakes pop up. The red and the white gives me the snowflake effect falling on the bag. And I think that's beautiful. I like the chain of the Speedy. This must be a Speedy 20. This is really cute. Well, that's my feeling. So I really like that color palette. This next set I really like as well. This is the Neverfull. I like this color palette because I like black and white. But what I am not sure about is the zoomed out effect behind the scenes of this Neverfull looks to be the Jean print. You can see that behind the snow polka dot effect. And that's the other thing is I'm not really sure if I'm a Jeant person, but what's great about this, like I said, is the color palette. I think black and white goes great together. I love that they made the Neverfull black, not white. Way to go. Because if it had been white as a Neverfull, could you imagine trying to wear that? It was a better call than making the Neverfull in noir and making the inner pouch white. Although I'm not entirely sure because you know, the inner pouch might be a piece you grab a little bit more frequently. I wouldn't want to see that get dirty too often. But, all right, so I'm going to move on to the next piece, which is the Horizon 45. Now I have a Horizon 45. So what I will say about this piece is this will probably not be a piece that I would recommend if you're going for this collection. And the only reason for that is because you would get more use, ergo more value for your money with another piece that you might use more frequently. If you're on the fence and they're all sold out of all the other pieces and you're going for one of these pieces, I probably still wouldn't go for this because it's also the Vachetta corners. It's the Vachetta handle. I just feel like Vachetta in luggage is not a good buy. And I have the Horizon 45 in the Damien Bin print, which I feel like I am able to get a lot more use out of that print than I would ever get from a Vachetta luggage piece. So that's just my feedback. Now the Speedy I thought was cute. Now the Speedy is also in this polka dot multicolor print. What this gives to me honestly is paint, finger painting vibes. So I'm not really sure that I could suggest this piece, but I'm putting it out there because I know a lot of people like Speedy. So I just wanted to share it with all of you. Also doing the same thing with the Alma, but it's the same feedback. I would probably go for the red snowflake looking Alma and Speedy over the finger painting versions of the Almond Speedy because they look a little bit more kid-like even though you'll probably say but the other red versions look more Minnie Mouse-ish like Kenesha. This is for you. I'm doing this for you. This is in case you guys miss these pieces and you're like I didn't see these pieces. I saw the other pieces that Foxy LV had on her Instagram. These are the other pieces that I thought were really equally pretty. So the other piece that I like was this bomber jacket. I think this is a piece for men. But if this is for women, I love it for us. And I am not above buying a men's piece for myself. I love it for us. This is cute. And this looks so warm. Ooh. I hope it's not made out of Sherpa. That's the only thing. I would never recommend buying a Sherpa piece by a high-end designer because I just feel like Sherpa gets it just gets too much too many things in it too easily. I just rather buy a lower end piece than a higher end piece that is constantly pilling that I've got to pick all the little dust pieces out of. That would be so annoying, wouldn't it? I wouldn't recommend that piece if it's Sherpa. I just thought it looked really, really nice. Here's a hot piece that I really like. This keep all 
with this virus looking red spots on it absolutely keep away from my keep all that's what this says to me back away from my keep all you don't want to get sick it's dangerous i love it <laughs> keep all is everything this is the keep all i would buy i'd buy this keep all i just wish louis vuitton would put feet on their on their bags on their keep alls that's the one thing that holds me back from buying their keep alls big and large small and large that's the one thing but this is the keep all that i said to myself this is fire and look at it black handles black noir strap that luggage tag is all black this is all black everything except for those red fire spots i love this other bag too this is a pure work of art this on the go that Kasuma did is a pure work of art. This is exactly why I can appreciate her. This is a vision. It's like a water painting, like a intentionally tossed onto this bag so artistically, and this was the end result. And then look at all the blue, this, the, the different variations in the blue. I just thought this was beautifully done. I couldn't buy it because it's white handles, but maybe if those handles had been blue, right? Maybe if there was another variation of this bag, other layer of blue somewhere that coated the handles, I may have been able to persuade myself to get off the fence for this on-the-go bag. I just feel like, again, this is another bag that I wish had feet Louis Vuitton. Vuitton, can you hear that? If you're gonna raise your prices, if you're gonna have elevated prices for these bags, the least you can do is add some feet, okay? That is me asking very nicely. Moving on from this beautiful on-the-go work of art to the Capucin. Now, this Capucin looks like it's sick. <laughs> oh my God. And there's a version in the can bag that also has the silver with the bubbles on it. This looks like truly like the bag got sick. What I love most about this version of the bag is the silvery metallic -y color. What I care less about is the bubbly effect. I feel like someone took a blowtorch to this bag. Maybe it's like boiling over or something. Maybe it's just hot. Maybe that's what the effect is supposed to be is this is fire. It's hot, it's boiling over. So take it with a grain of salt. So we're gonna go with that one. That's the right buy for this bag. Now, here is another Kirigami set. What do we think about the Kirigami set? I really like Kirigami sets, but I feel like they're more collector's pieces, which is the reason why I don't have them. I haven't figured out how I would use them. I've seen a lot of people use these to hold their iPads. People use these to hold notepads. You can put your keys inside. You can put your cards inside. Here, what I like about this set is the different color variations. You can set up a system to figure out what's in each pouch. And my favorite is the black and white and the red and white. I think this is a nice collection set. Look at this key charm of Kasama. I gotta, I have to pull up her picture on Louis Vuitton so that you can see how they made this Vivian rendition look just like her. I thought that was so cute. Look at her in the Vivian with her little Alma bag in the black and white. Isn't that cute? That is so cute. <laughs> These were my favorite. These were my absolute favorite pieces from this collection. And then this piece here is the bandeau. I don't care for the polka dot finger painted side, but I love the black and white Louis Vuitton side. So for that reason, I thought this would be really cute on a bag, especially if it was maybe the side trunk bag in the noir. I thought this would be a really good pop of color, just a really good compliment on that hand strap. Those were my thoughts and my impressions of the upcoming Kasama collection from Louis Vuitton in 2023. Tell me what your thoughts are on the collection. Did you agree with my opinion on some of the pieces, good or bad? positive or negative drop your comments below i want to hear it so that we can start this conversation and if you want to continue this in a live put some likes up like and subscribe follow me on instagram if you care to and if you want some perfume i am doing a giveaway go to wilomilo.com drop the code name perfume if you would like some perfume thanks so much for tuning in and if you're with me until the end until the next time